On a cold night in August 1948, one of the most disturbing unsolved mysteries of the 20th century began. Without telling a soul, Thaddeus Wilcox and his wife Fanny left their home in San Francisco, driving straight through for hours on end until they reached the Mojave Desert. Along with them was Fanny's younger sister Mabel, a woman who had not spoken a word since the age of five and who clung like a child to her doll Agatha. When officers searched the Wilcox home days later, they found the house completely intact and untouched. The three had left in the middle of the night with only the clothes on their backs, leaving behind everything and everyone they had ever known. A man of few words, Thaddeus had served in the Second World War. His closest friends report that he was never the same upon his return. He arrived home even more withdrawn and stoic than before. His wife Fanny herself had become quite pious in the years since her husband's return. In a former life, she had been a dancer, gracing the stages of various San Francisco nightclubs. Now she devoted her days to quiet prayer and reading sacred scripture. Compelled to start anew in the desert, Thaddeus spent his entire life savings purchasing a 100-acre plot of land known as Silent Creek. This included a small chapel and a cattle ranch. Thaddeus wasn't interested in running a farm, though, so he laid off all of the laborers. Before they were let go, he made them destroy his entire wealth of livestock, this and what could only now be seen as a sacrificial offering to the unknown. Thaddeus, Fanny, and Mabel were said to have watched the slaughter of every animal on the property, totaling more than 500 beasts. It took three days for the workers to complete. The hours ticked by slowly, but for this family of three, it was only a matter of time before their true designs for this land would be harnessed. Following the events that inevitably took place, investigators would scour what was left of the Silent Creek property, uncovering three corpses in the wreckage of the chapel's basement. What had become of the Wilcox family?